We're back in the film room. I'm Lauren Sisler. This is Cole Kublik, and our attention today turns to Steven Roberts, a guy that played in every game last season for Auburn. However, he did not get his first start until the Georgia game, the last four games of the season. Expectations for his productivity this upcoming year. I like Steven Roberts a lot. This is a young man, Lauren, speaking to Traveris Robinson, who was his secondary coach a year ago told me that two, three weeks in the season goes by. Most kids who aren't starting, they sort of fade to the back of the meeting room. You don't really hear from them. If they have a bit of a role in special teams, maybe they keep that. They play in blowouts. But Steven Roberts sort of took that personal, began coming in on his own, wanted to watch film with Coach Robinson, wanted to watch film with Will Muschamp, watched film on his own, went out, studied things that he needed to do better to find his way on the field. And what do you know, that ends up paying off towards the end of the season. It's rare to see a kid as a true freshman be able to do that, show that type of maturity and that type of desire to find their way on the field in a complicated defense also. But I love the way he plays. And it used to be where you needed corners that could tackle because they were going to be left one-on-one. -on -one. You had guys that were blitz, and these attack blitzes are not as popular as they used to be because teams are spreading the field. Now you need corners who can tackle because so much is happening on the perimeter offensively. You're going to get guys out there in space. You need to get ball carriers to the ground. Steven Roberts very good at doing that. We'll take a look at his game right here. Show you what I like about his game. Top of your screen right here. It's a young man who understands how to come up, elude a blocker, and still stay square and go make a tackle. Work your way around the wide receiver, come up. So popular these days with corners to just dive at the knees or the ankles of their opponents and attempt to get a guy to the ground. It's refreshing to see a corner actually go chest high, waist high, wrap up, and use their body and tackle old school, technically, fundamentally, and get a ball carried to the ground. Steven Roberts is physical. He's not afraid of contact nice in coverage, and this is a kid that has the desire and the will to get better as a football player. I think he's going to play a major role for Kevin Steele this fall. And how important is his versatility going to be in that role this upcoming season? Anybody in the secondary against the offenses that you see in this day and age, you must be versatile. You must be able to play man. You must be able to play zone. And for the most part, you need to be able to sort of play a hybrid safety and corner position because you really are only going to have probably two guys who are going to be locked down corners that lined up either on the boundary or into the field, and they're going to know what receiver they're on and line up around, around the same place on every play. Other guys, based on motion, based on offenses, and what happens in the huddle with all these hybrid players on offense, whether it's a tight end that can line up as a receiver or a running back that can motion and be a slot receiver. Slot receiver can play tailback. H-back that's a fullback, tight end, tailback. A lot of times you have to understand, I might have to move around on the field to where I'm going to be aligned, Therefore, by design, you're almost playing another position. So versatility is key anytime you're playing in the secondary against offenses that you see in today's college football.